Yo guys, it's your boy Shrey J Downs and welcome back to another video. Today, we'll be review reviewing the Wanderers vs Mariners game that literally just finished as I'm recording this. So the game ended up and finishing 2-1. Now, that was really, really close to my prediction as a one all draw. But, let's go through the game first half by half. Now, the first half, it started really slow for both teams. There wasn't much progression through the midfield, there was a lot of switching sides, a lot of shots were blocked, and then and then we went on a counter-attack, it comes out to the left side through Tommy Orr, Tommy Orr plays it inside to Murray, plays it to Durich, Durich smacks it, comes off the crossbar, goes in, scores, 1-0, 1-0 up. Then, what was it about? 10 minutes, 10 to 5 minutes before the first half finishes, Dylan Fox, the Mariners centre back, gives away a corner. And then they whip it in. Mitchell Duke, ex Mariners, who's the captain of Wanderers now, wins the header. Birigidi couldn't save it and it goes in. They hold on to the half and it goes at the 1 0 draw. But in that half, Jordan Murray gets injured. And Georgievsky comes in with double studs up, double both feet studs up into the shins of Jordan Murray. Jordan Murray goes down, couldn't walk for 20, like 10 minutes, had to come on, they had to get a lot of um, treatment at half time. And VAR could have checked it and given it a red card, even the coach of the Wanderers thought it was a red card, but it wasn't given a red card. Now, during the second half, they started reviewing the goals and they said that Birigidi should have done better, which he should have. It's his near post. You can't be doing that. You can't be giving away stupid goals like that. But Dylan Fox, after he gave away the corner, he was very upset with himself and he shouldn't have done it. But into the second half, what a second half. Okay, it was the most entertaining second half I have ever seen of the A-League so far. Because... There was just chance after chance after chance, corner after corner. Even though Wanderers only had three corners the whole game, Mariners ended up having, I think it was 11, something like that. We dominated. We dominated so much, but Wanderers just finished well. They just, in the final third, they did what they needed to do well. After Wanderers came out with a 5-3 or 5-2-1-2, they started Mitch Duke and Alex Meyer up front. They did really well attacking the Alex Meyer and didn't get a goal. But it came to the 81st minute. VAR saw a handball of Dylan Fox's arm, which very controversial because Ziggy Gordon clears it with his weak foot around the edge of the six yard box. Dylan Fox's arm is out like just a bit lower than this. And then he sees the ball coming, lifts it down, and it hits it on his way down. The referee thinks that it's, oh, it's part of the rules, it's too far, too far away from the body, and he gives it a penalty. Mitch Duke buries it. We just couldn't do anything after that, because Danny Lopar, who is the one who is goalkeeper, was just saving everything. And Matty Yerman, who is the one who is centre-back, absolutely deserves a praise. I'm surprised he didn't play for Australia the other night, but well done to Matty Yeoman. He deserves it. He played really, really well. No doubt he deserves to start in Australia next game against Chinese Tempai. No, I didn't say that. I Chinese Tempai. Oh, China. I China. But, um, next up, Mariners have the Jets at home. So we should be going well for that at home. So I will be going to that match and I'm, ex I'm excited for that game. So thank you guys for watching. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. If you watch the game, comment your opinion on it. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.